Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malek Shalomo. Today is the 15th of October 2024. It's currently 2.32 p.m. Eastern Time. And right now I'm in a Black Sun strategy short on Bitcoin. And let me just point this out. This is simulated trading using Bookmap, the Bookmap platform to read order flow. So let me just break this down here. What's going on? All right, so we had this nice run up here, nice buying into the first upper deviation. And if you look at my prior video, I had, um, <clears throat> I kind of explained um, my trade setup prior to this, right? So now we had this big buying through the first upper deviation so i took a breakout here again which was kind of like the the first trade i did but this trade came back um we found um resistance here at around 67 339 right so i ended up stopping out on this trade and um i took a short here right and then i stopped out again is it let me see Right, this was the long here. This was the stop out. Right, so I took another long here as well and stopped out on that one. So I switched over to the Black Sun strategy, which I'm seeing the, the selling is increasing. And we're at this um, Camarilla R3 pivot level, which is a resistance level. So we have the Camarilla R3 pivot and we have the first upper deviation as resistance right so you could see here we broke down here good selling um, we actually had more buying in this bubble here slightly more than um than the selling but i guess the selling pressure overtook um the momentum we started getting more selling within these bubbles here we got a retest exhaustion at the retest no follow through on the buy side and we started to get heavy selling. Now this is the volume point of control, which is at um, roughly 6,700. <clears throat> yes, I, I need to stop saying 6,700. I, I looked at my prior video and it's actually 67,000. So my bad on that. Um, 67,000 right here. We're getting the retest of this volume point of control. At 67,000, we're getting buyers coming in, but I'm not seeing, if you look at the at the volume down here, it's not really looking that much, that heavy on the buy side. We have more selling volume here, but um, it could always reverse because we are kind of in an uptrend right now. So, got to keep an eye on this here. This is my entry at, um, let's see. sixty seven one four zero right so you can see here let's go down to a little more minutia here so we have big buying here coming through right um do we get follow through though so we have buyers at the volume point of control so let's see if this is gonna follow through or not you see we're getting these selling bubbles here as well And where do I think I'll be wrong on this trade here? I think I'll be wrong if um, if we break back above this level here. So I'm going to move my stop to just above Camarilla R3 and just above this plus one VWAP, first upper deviation. Because we, we got the selling, we got the retest. Now we got to see the follow through from the sellers here, right? So we're seeing the selling coming in. And I need them to start taking this down. Let me just remove this. This is no longer valid. And this is also monthly Camarilla R3. So we have two Camarillas. This is one. This monthly is at. Um, let me just put this here. Right. So that's at sixty-seven one six zero. 
monthly Camarilla artery. So this is what I'm seeing here. This might be absorption from the bit side because we're getting selling pressure, but we're not we're not breaking these lows. Right, these lows right here, we're not breaking down from this level. And you can see here this that um that dash be between this level here, um sixty seven one four zero. That's my break even and that's my entry. Right, so I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna let it come back to my stop or I'ma just stop out before break even because stuff like this right here this might be buying absorption if we if we keep getting sellers at the volume point of control but no follow through to the downside then it might be because this is kind of like a uh, accumulation structure. And especially around volume points of control, this might be a pushback up here. If we don't get the sellers to to come in here and take it down from here. So I want to see some, some responsive sellers here at the volume points of control. We do get these retests in, in structure though, so a retest of this level right here, right where we're at right now, this could be a retest of this breakdown level here. So let me just point this out. All right, so around this level here is as far as I think I wanted to retest. So I'm, I am seeing a, a breakdown from that level. Let me just change this to red. All right, so that's the breakdown level here. So I wanted I wanted to stay below this level here. If we retest, maybe just just about here, and that'll be it. And actually, let me do this. Right, so moving my stop down, that's as far as I wanted to, to come back on me. And if we go deeper into this structure here, then I'll look at it as like a, a reversal. Seeing the buying volume is coming in here. We do have more selling volume, but we're not getting follow through on the sales, on the sell side. So that's kind of signifying that, you know, buyers are absorbing the selling pressure. Look at the delta and the, um, the, the bubbles right now, it's looking like more buyers. And it's looking like it's going to stop me out right now. Right, so that was a stop out right there that, um, let's see, just just below break even. So this Black Sun strategy turned into a break even trade, roughly break even. And let's see here. So looking at the structure here, we could get another setup for me to go long like I did before. So let me just show you here. Right, so this was a prior long from here, right from 67, let's see here, right, 67,250 to 67,990. So is this setting up again where we're above volume point of, I mean, um, the VWAP, right? 
we're holding above the VWAP volume pointer control has moved up into this level here. We got we getting buyers at volume pointer control. So are we gonna get another breakout here? Is this just a pullback to volume pointer control to get this buy here again at Camarilla R3 and the plus one VWAP? Right now the buying isn't looking that that convincing to me as we come down closer you can see that the the buying we're getting a little exhaustion here at the plus one vwap so let me take a look at this here again to see if if we get some exhaustion here All right, so I'm going to set a limit sell order right there at plus one VWAP. That's the setup. We have the pivot levels. We have the plus one VWAP. Let's see if we get a touch to, to get us in the trade here. We have heavy liquidity as resistance. It could also be attracting price. So this is a counter trend trade. So um, I won't be staying in this too long. But let's see if we get some exhaustion here. If they tag us in and we get some exhaustion. So it's looking like they want to break down before they tag us in. Right, not seeing any buying volume on this um see look down here no buying volume the ask is getting heavy here you see the ask is pushing up the bid is pushing down so the bid is getting light and the ask is pushing to the upside so that's pressure from the offer and no support from the bid. All right, so they're going to tag us in here. We just got tagged in for like only two Bitcoin there. Actually, one and one and two thirds, really. So they got to come back up here and hit this limit order again. No volume on this push up here, right? This big volume, this bubble right here doesn't have any buying volume in it. So we're looking down here for the buying volume for this bubble and it doesn't really coincide, right? So hence we shouldn't get any follow through. Even this right here doesn't really coincide with this buying bubble right here either. So let's see. It's looking like it's going to leave without me, without tagging me in though. And in this case here, we do the breakdown of structure for another tagging somewhere right here. Bring that limit order down. So if we, when we retest this breakdown level here, could get tagged in for the rest. Selling pressure, we should get a little bit of buying here to push us back above VPOC, but selling pressure is heavy now. We have the volume here. Right, volume coming in on the sell side. It's looking like we're not going to get tagged in. So gonna move my stop down here we're wrong if we break back above Camarilla R3 and plus one VWAP And we still have our limit order in play here for the breakdown of the structure. 
we want to get tagged in here at 67.040. So you see we're getting the pullback here. Let's see if we get a little pop back above VPOC. We have a little volume coming in here. All right, so I'm tagged in the rest. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I just want to keep this here. Right, so here I want to stay below this below this level right here. And we have the buying volume coming in there again. And since this is a counter trend trade, right? Because we're bullish on the day. So if this if this pulls back to break even, I'm quick to get out of this trade here. So I'm not gonna risk much on this trade. If we break above this level here, I wanna stop out. All right, so we want to break down this level here now. And that's how the order flow usually moves. We break down levels, we retest these levels, right? So let's see here. Break down this level, retest, and go further down. So let's see if we're going to break this level. Right, so at the bottom here, we want to see these initiative players push push down to the downside from the bottom of this range. Because if they sell right here, they're kind of selling in the hole. So that'll show that they're initiative sellers. We haven't had sellers since really this um, these volume levels here. Right? No, no, Not much um, selling from this level right here. Right, so we have some sellers here. It's looking like they they're taking some short positions right here at VPOC. We see some volume pop up there a little bit. Right, thinking about flattening the trade as um, we come back up to this VPOC level again. First, we, we broke down, tested it once. Now we're testing it twice. I want to see the sellers take control here. No buying volume, but if we come back above the structure here, I want to be out the trade. So it's kind of roughly break even. So if we do start getting this push up above this level here, then... I could just reset up the trade, you know what I mean? I don't have to take the full stop. I could take like a break even or just before break even. And if we pull back up to this level here, I can enter the trade again on like a kind of retest. Right, so it's kind of holding this level here. So we're pushing back up, consolidating above this, this area right here. So 
So basically you need to start breaking down from this level here. Because this is where we're seeing support so far. I may have flattened the trade um, too soon. Let's see here. All right, so I'm exit. I exited here at um, 66.980, but it was looking like maybe it's just a retest of this level here again. But still, I don't like how I don't like how the price action is moving right now. So I would like a. Let's see, I could set another sell limit order right here. If we do pull back and we fail up here again, then I can retake that trade. Or another way to enter this trade if I want to chase it is a breakdown of the structure right here. Let's see. Right, so a breakdown and retest of this level here could give me another entry. But I'd rather enter at higher levels up at my actual um, trade setup, which is the plus one upper deviation VWAP and Camarilla Archery. If I did maintain my stop, I'd still be in this trade though, which is here. But I just don't like the, the price action coming back up here too much around VPOC as well and I don't like how this is heavy volume here and we're not getting any follow through another heavy volume area no follow through Let's see how long is this video. It's 23 minutes, so um, it was too really. Um, let's see it, it. I think it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Am I still in opposition? Yeah, it was actually still, but it, it's not. It wasn't showing up nowhere on the chart, so that was strange. That was strange. And it comes out like a buy. So maybe one of these here, while I was filling the order, it turned into a buy order. Maybe I made some kind of mistake there with um, the limit order. So um, it probably kind of, yeah. So probably turned into a buy limit order right here with one of these stop outs. So netted a little more on, on this little maneuvers here, but um I don't know man, it's not 
is not setting up properly for the Black Sun strategy. I mean, if I if I held this position right here, I'd still be in profit. But this volume point of control here is disturbing the the breakdown of this trade. So I gotta be cautious around this level here. If we did follow through from this big selling here, right? So nice follow through. If we got the pullback, and then we started going again then got a retest and go that's a proper structure for follow through to the downside but this right here is um this is looking more like automatic rally secondary stop kind of like a up trust a spring below and then you start getting um the pushback to the upside so this is looking more like a accumulation structure so when it breaks out from this level here, we could start pushing back up to this liquidity levels. And that's another thing too. It's it's um this structure is supporting the attack of this liquidity level here at 67,300 and um 67,350-ish. I'm just kind of letting the video run to see if we actually break down the spring right here or we actually um, break above here for the reaccumulation kind of structure. He's selling um, push down this little range that's developing right here. The selling is having no volume. All of this is no volume. Now we get selling volume coming back down to this level, but are they going to break down though? Alright, so if we retest there, I'm going to take a sell right there. Since we're breaking down, we're looking like we're going to continue to the downside. Let's see if I can get an entry here. Again, this is a breakdown of the structure, retest of the, the structure breakdown. And then we could continue to the downside. Right, so I'm tagged in there. It's pushing back up into the structure. We got some volume on this buying to buying though, so that's not looking too good. Right, it's looking like sellers are taking control. We're getting some lower highs here. Right, so let's see if they maintain the structure here of lower highs. And we continue breaking down these lows.
All right, let me clear that up. Right now, it's looking like um like support is coming in here because it's looking like resistant wa resistance wants to fail now. See, we have buying volume coming back into play as we push back up to VPOC. And this could be a short squeeze back up to that liquid, those liquidity levels I was talking about. Up here. All right, so we're seeing the, the selling volume coming into play. And let me just point some out here. So this is the offer, right, um, on the sub chart. So the offer is getting, getting weaker and the bid is getting stronger, right? So the green is the bid. The bid is increasing and uh, the offer is getting weaker, right? And the difference here is this um, light purple. And um, that's showing that the, the bid is to the upside. So it's bidding up right now. I think this kind of shows on the on the current order book as well. You see it's kind of it's kind of um, scanty right here, and this is a little thicker right here. So we got the breakdown. Let's see if they're going to retest this structure right here and follow through. So maybe this was the retest. Didn't get back up to the structure. We're getting follow through to the downside. So really, I should have just held the first position, which was here. Right? That's the original um, entry which was the breakdown of this first upper deviation dash yellow line coupled with Camarilla R3 and now we have the follow through so this right here kind of um, this had me kind of watching this trade kind of suspect you know what I'm saying but now we're getting the breakdown we have this um, exhaustion on the retest not even getting back to the, the structure low and now we're getting heavy selling to the downside, lots of volume. And I want to get out at VWAP because this is the uptrend. So this is counter trend trading. All right. So if we do retest above this level here, I'm going to stop out. Let's see. Let me move my see move my take profit to just above VWAP now this could be a good take profit as well because this is the first um, real liquidity we're seeing here but let's see let's see how good the selling is 
So I'm going to put my stop down here, just above where we just broke. And let's see if we could get this level here. Right, so just above this level right here, trailer mask up down. Let's see if we can maintain this um, this selling pressure. This is VWAP right here, so buyers can start coming in just before VWAP. So let's see, I can trail my stop and secure secure more profit, right? That's the profit right there. Right, so they just stopped me out there. So got some got some on this trade as well. Um had a nice little breakdown there. So let's see. Going back over this. Let's see where is my where's my cell entry here? Right, so this entry right here was basically a, a breakdown, retest of the structure. I held, um, we had a little pullback, we pulled back above VPOC. Uh, my stop was above this structure right here, so maintain the stop. Um, got the sellers coming back in here, pushing down, breaking down the structure right here. Right, and this is still a high risk trade because we're counter trend trading. So, um, Let's see, I was kind of cautious in, in my trade management, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really taking much risk. And as you can see, I, I opted out before we got to view up, right, to take profit. So we got the breakdown, got the retest right here, shallow retest, more sellers coming in, heavy volume, volume started drying up, and buying volume coming in, so I opted out. So let's see, let's see what's happening now. Right, and we're getting a little reversal here. So, yeah, with this counter trend trading, um, going against this this big uptrend right now, um, gotta be kind of cautious, you know what I'm saying? So, if we have the structure of kind of like a reaccumulation happening here, and these Wyckoff T reaccumulations happen on on um smaller time frames as well. So we have the preliminary supply. The the um selling climax automatic rally secondary stop and then we have this up trust right so after the up trust we have this shallow pullback showing that buyers are in control and then they break out of this level from the buying climax I mean from the automatic um, rally. And now we're getting the buying um, coming in here. So if they maintain this level here, it's right back up. All right, y'all. So it's Malek Shalomo. Y'all trade safe and stay blessed.